Here I am at Mixamo.com and I like this animation, the running slide. So I'm going to download it, 60 frames per second. And I'm going to go to my Mixamo animations folder. And I'm going to drag in the downloaded animation into the folder. So here it is, running slide. And we do the usual stuff. Rigging, humanoid, apply, configure, sample T-bind pose, apply, done. Rename the animation, running slide. Check these two boxes, apply, and we have the animation. I'm going to turn off AI for now and in the animator for the Y bot I'm going to drag in the running slide I'll make a transition from running to running slide don't want the exit time adjust the transition okay and if we look at the list of abilities for running we already have the transition indexer for the flying kick which is one so I'm going to create another indexer transition indexer player running slide transition indexer and it's going to use the number two index and the conditions are going to be that we need I guess either left or right and down actually since we're already running I guess we just need the down so for the transition we want the condition to be that transition index equals 2 and if I play if I press down while I'm running looks like it's not working that is because we haven't added the indexer to running I'll try again Okay, so if I press down while I'm running, I go into the sliding animation. I'm going to create a separate folder for running slide. And inside, I'll create an ability, move forward. Obviously, we want the player to move forward while it's sliding. Running slide, move forward. We'll lock the direction for the current state and the next state. It's a constant and we want the speed graph to decrease over time. Maybe about 70% at the end. Speed, I'll just try 4, block distance 0 0.1, running slide, add behavior, character state, add the ability, running slide, move forward. Now if I play again, we're now moving forward as we're running, and at the end, of the animation we'll go back to running and I want the conditions to be turbo is true 
and move is also true you also got to be grounded so grounded is true and for running slide I'll add another ability which is the ground detector I'll use the general one okay so now if I click play We might need to fix a few things in the move forward. I don't think we're checking for turbo in the move forward script. Okay, so in the update, we'll add it here. If the character control says turbo, return turbo true if not turbo is false and I'll copy this line from the control move, paste it into the constant move, and instead of returning, we're just turning on and off. The move parameter. So if I go back and play, After our slide, okay, if I have turbo, if I'm grounded, and if I'm moving forward, we go back to running. Looks like the transition is not smooth. So let's adjust the graph here. I think we might have to cut out some animation at the end of the slide. So here's running slide. Okay. I'll try again. That's much better. We don't have a transition for anything other than running right now. And looks like it's all right. We also want the other transitions, like back to walking, and the condition for slide to walking. Would be something like move is true, grounded is also true, but turbo is false.
So if I play, so now we have sliding to walking as well as sliding to running. I think I want to change the speed graph. Change this all the way down to half speed, half speed at the end. Maybe that was a little too much. Okay, looks about right. Four point two here. Okay. And we also need a transition back to idle. And the condition is that move is false ground it is true turbo is false so if i play after a slide if i don't press anything we go back into idle So we have transition to idle, transition to running, and walking. I think I want a bit of a smoother transition from sliding to walking. I think it looks about right. And here is a little bug. So after you go into idle and try running the other way, we have this weird turning animation get, that gets triggered. I'll go into idle. And when we're in the idle state during the update, I'll just go into the character control animation progress, lock direction next state is false. So if I play again. We no longer have that bug anymore. 
we do get stuck in the animation if we hold down the turbo. I guess I'll fix this later. There's a lot more other details to take care of. But generally the transitions are working fine except for the turbo part. There's one more. If you're not grounded, then we go into the falling animation. So sliding to falling without the exit time. And the condition is that grounded is false. So if I play, I'm going to try sliding at the top of the platform. Okay, it looks like ground detection is working fine. So here we have running slide and transitioning back to all the other states, all the other possible states from the slide. There's still a few details to take care of, like getting stuck here. I'll fix this later, but the basic things are working fine. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.